We will be out on site pretty much every day of the week, as well as most Saturdays. Um, and you can expect our crews to be operating pretty much the daylight hours. Um, we're going to make hay while the sun shines, as the, as the statement goes. Occasionally, we will have some night work going. Um, and really, what you're going to see is something very similar to that image. Uh, a lot of flagging type operations uh, to keep the workers safe as well as keep the traveling public safe. Um, we will have temporary signals in some locations and our drivers can expect anywhere from five minutes to a quarter hour worth of wait time while you're waiting through these work zones. Um, one of the challenges with the job is because of the job. Uh, we have a lot of long vertical or long sections of vertical and horizontal curves where the sight distance is somewhat problematic and creates making or makes having flagging operations very difficult. So we will be dealing with extended flagging operations um, that we'll ha have to be dealing with. Um, we will be doing a speed limit reduction. Okay? Right now we're 55 miles an hour. Trucks and vehicles generally go more than that. We need to reduce it down so it's safer for people that are approaching our work zones and having to stop as well as make it safer for the construction crews and personnel that are out there working on site and, and really make it safer for everyone involved. Um, getting rid of these blind curves is, is going to be critical. Um, we will have message boards on both ends of the project uh, to keep the traveling public informed. So those are the electronic uh, trailer mounted boards uh, with, with basic messages. Um, let's see. We also recognize that this corridor is a route that gets used if 81 or 64 gets jammed up. Uh, we will have the opportunities to pull our lane closures out of the road once we can do that safely. Um, we ask that everybody bear with us if an incident happens. We have to give our team from Faulkner enough time to get their crews safely out of the road and make sure that the, that the roadway is safe for the traveling public to make it through the area. Um, as I alluded to, we are going to have potential for temporary signals. Um, these temporary traffic signals are going to be used when we have to have extended periods of time of one-way traffic. Okay? We are going to have a couple of structures to get uh, removed and replaced in um, phase one, northern part of phase one, thank you. Um, we may also potentially have uh, concrete barriers that are going to be used uh, which could restrict the use of oversized vehicles. Okay, that is information that is and in, in, uh, challenges that are being designed to right now to try to accommodate those as best we possibly can. Um, we're only going to be allow, allowing our team from Faulkner to have one temporary signal to be used at any one time and it's only going to be between April 1st and September 1st. And we have a total number of days restriction in the contract and so the goal is to use these very sparingly if at all. Um, noise impacts. You should be prepared for a lot of backup alarms. Um, the, as soon as work starts, the backup alarms will go. Um, but as far as that goes, the, uh, the main other offending uh, noises will come from our rumble strip operations. Um, we're not anticipating any blasting operations. Uh, but if that does occur, we'll have to shut down the roadway for uh, more than extended periods of time. Um, we'll have a blast. We'll have to clear it up. Um, if we have blasting operations, the nearby um, property owners will be notified well in advance so that we can work to make sure that there's no damage to their properties as well. And as well, we'll also have message boards that will alert the drivers. Staying up to date for the job is, is going to be critical. Uh, we are, as I mentioned, having message boards for the general information. Uh, we're encouraging everyone to use the 511 app um, and, and use it, going to 511virginia.org. Um, 
periodically we will be making some updates to the Salem District um, website as well for the project uh, but those are going to be much more generalized um, if you got any questions or concerns uh, you know the people that are going to be on site most often Mike Robick, myself, Monia McMichael um, those people will be the folks that you'll need to find and, and ask questions of um, our offices are going to be right near the Iron Gate boat launch at the intersection of 220 and Glen Wilton Road. Those have been up um, for a little over a week and we're starting to get those situated so it will start having people on, sta on site staffing that very regularly very soon. Um, so thank you for your interest. We will be milling around. If you want to grab any one of us to ask questions, that's great. Um, but again, we're not going to have any formal Q&A. Thank you. Thank you.